Imagine plunging into the icy depths of the North Atlantic, a realm where steel giants roam and clash under the cloak of war-torn waters. Here, amidst the chaos of World War II, a haunting mystery unfolds with the German submarine U-633. Was it destroyed by the daring ram of the merchant vessel SS Skorten, or lost to the silent depth charges of a lurking enemy? This essay seeks to unravel the tangled threads of history, exploring how the murky waters of wartime narratives can obscure the truth. In March 1943, Convoy SC-121 embarked from New York, laden with vital supplies for the Allied forces. Amidst gale force winds and towering waves, this convoy represented a lifeline, threading through the lethal hunting grounds of German U-boats. The strategic significance of SC-121 was paramount, tasked with delivering essential resources ranging from ammunition to sustenance across the perilous Atlantic. The North Atlantic, a battleground shrouded in tempest and turmoil, was a test of endurance and strategy. The convoy's passage was a daring defiance of the U-boat menace, a narrative of bravery woven into the vast, unforgiving ocean. As SC-121 plowed through the churning waters, the lurking shadows of German submarines found their marks. Over three harrowing days, the convoy faced relentless assaults, resulting in the sinking of 13 merchant ships. The chilling toll of these attacks mounted to 500 souls lost, swallowed by the cold depths. The maritime chess game turned grim, with each torpedo strike from the hidden predators claiming more of the beleaguered convoy. The Atlantic, a grave for sunken aspirations, bore witness to the brutal efficiency of the U-boat campaign, marking the sea with grief and debris. On the fateful morning of March 10th, amidst the chaos, the SS Skorten, laden with 6,800 tons of sugar, encountered a German submarine. Believed to be U-633, the submarine surfaced perilously close. In a desperate maneuver, the captain of the Skorten ordered full steam and rammed the metallic beast. Initial reports hailed this as a triumph, a rare reversal where the hunted turned hunter. However, subsequent investigations cast doubt on the submarine's identity, suggesting it might not have been U-633 after all. This revelation prompted a deeper dive into the fog of war's confusing records. The quest to clarify the Scorton's collision unearthed a web of historical discrepancies. Records conflicted, blurring the lines between fact and fabricated war tales. The challenge of piecing together accurate narratives from fragments of biased or incomplete reports became apparent. This part of the investigation emphasized the detective work required to navigate the murky waters of wartime propaganda and genuine historical events. Each conflicting report added layers of complexity to understanding what truly transpired that stormy March day. Enter the U.S. Coast Guard cutter Spencer, another key player in this maritime mystery. Originally overlooked, the Spencer's role came to light through diligent research, revealing its likely engagement with U-633. Armed with depth charges, the Spencer was documented executing a strategic attack that could have sealed the submarine's fate. Analyzing the operation led to insights about the tactics and dangers of anti-submarine warfare. The Spencer's involvement underscored the collaborative efforts necessary to counter the U-boat threat, highlighting an often overlooked aspect of naval engagements. Armed with new methodologies and perspectives, historians revisited the archival materials and eyewitness accounts. This re-examination brought forth a clearer picture, aligning disparate pieces of evidence into a more coherent narrative. The integration of modern research techniques with traditional historical inquiry shed light on previously obscure details of the encounter moving closer to resolving the enduring questions surrounding U-633's fate. After exhaustive investigations, we've unearthed a shocking truth. It was indeed the depth charges from the U.S. Coast Guard Spencer, not an accidental collision with the SS Scorton, 
that directly caused the sinking of U-633. This revelation not only rewrites the historical narrative, but also honors the covert operations and strategic efforts that safeguarded the seas during the tumult of Wei-2. The investigation into U-633's fate transcends mere historical curiosity, touching on deeper themes of memory, heroism, and the fog of war. It serves as a stark reminder of the complexities involved in military history, where truth is often as elusive as the submarines that once prowled the North Atlantic. The case study underscores the importance of meticulous research and the critical examination of sources, principles that guide historians in their quest to illuminate the past accurately. The mysterious case of U-633, entangled in the depths of history and ocean, reminds us that the past is not always what it seems. Through rigorous investigation and a commitment to truth, historians strive to bring clarity to the shadowy narratives of war. As we delve into these naval mysteries, we not only uncover facts, but also honor the memory of those who navigated through the darkest time.